I mean, right up here is the old Kentucky Fried Chicken building where we had the most recent drug tunnel identified. Drug, drug tunnel? Drug tunnel. Into the Kentucky Fried Chicken? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it came up into the kitchen. The drug tunnel went under the fence, under the canal. Kentucky Fried Chicken had sold the building to another guy. It was owned privately because a guy was going to turn it into another restaurant. Okay, so it, it was in between ownership. It right. wasn't operating at that time. Right. So they built a tunnel under all this infrastructure. And they ended up tunneling up to the kitchen area. And it was a small opening because it was all hard narcotics. So we're talking fentanyl. Heroin, cocaine, methane. So no one was crawling through it. it oh, was they just... were. They were crawling all the way up, but the hole in the floor was small. Do you think they'll make it to the Pizza Hut this year? <laughs> Hard to say. <laughs> They're quite ambitious. It could happen. you got to be one heck of an engineer to be able to plot depth and everything else to get all the way over there to here. That's millions of dollars. And you see that pinkish-style building up there? Yeah. Right across the street was an old postal type business. Not U.S. Postal, but a packaging company. That's where the other tunnel came across is right up there. So it went underneath all that up there. So what percentage of tunnels do you think are not getting discovered that are currently in operation? I'm sure there's quite a few. Plenty of them, right? Yeah.